Hey, what's up everybody? This is Owen coming to you with another Video Spot vlog and you can check us out at thevideospot.net. Do you want to know what a professional camera setup looks like? Today we're behind the scenes with VidPal, one of the coolest companies in video marketing and we're going to take a look at how they set up their gear to teach you how to have a more professional video marketing setup. That's coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Owen at the Video Spot Vlog and you can check us out at thevideospot.net. Today we're going to check out what a professional camera setup looks like and the reason we're going to do that is because not everybody wants to have an iPhone camera video marketing program or you know a handy cam webcam video marketing program. There are some brands, some businesses out there that want to really step up their game so I'm creating this blog for you if you want to know what kind of gear you need to have to really improve yourself. Setup. So let's go take a look at the setup and see what they got. So what we're looking at here is a two camera setup where we've got the main cam right over here that's focused directly on the subject and then we've got this camera here at like a 30 to 45 degree angle and what that's going to do is provide us with some cutaway shots that help to transition in between the cuts but also keep the viewer engaged because a lot of studies show that if you're changing up the frame every eight seconds or so then you're keeping your viewers more engaged so take a look at kind of this massive setup right here now this is probably a manfrotto tripod it's really heavy duty probably a couple hundred dollars i don't think you really need need that unless you're going to be doing a lot of interactive you know moving around it's going to get banged up airports that sort of thing I usually go with a Velbon product. They range between $80 to $120, and they'll last you for a couple years. They, they really do the job. This neat little thing here is called a slider, and what this does is it helps you get, you wanna show how that? This helps you get some really cool movement here. As a matter of fact, as you're, See, as you're kind of moving down the track, it's creating a dolly effect, which is the difference between kind of like an amateur video and a professional looking video. We're shooting with the Canon D Mark II, I believe. 5D Mark II, yeah. The 5D Mark II, which is an excellent camera, and you can see that we've got a, a monitor attached, so you can actually see what the frame will look like on a high definition widescreen TV. Now, I think having that that monitor is important because you're actually able to see what the colors will look like, the shading, and all that kind of stuff when the, when the finished product is out. Now let's take a look at audio gear. What we're using here is a Zoom H4n, and you know, this is a couple hundred dollar device, but what this does is it helps you capture professional audio. You've got some microphones up here at the top, but you've also got XLR and 3.5 millimeter inputs down here, which you can attach to your Sennheiser lavalier mic, which is a pretty high-end mic. Those are $700 uh, lavaliers. I also use an Asden mic, which ranges for you know around 150 bucks on Amazon, but it's only a 3.5 millimeter you know, um, input, which, which looks kind of like kind of like your, your, your headphone input. You get great sound, a little bit more background noise than you need, so if you've got the money to spend, the Sennheisers, is a, you know, it's a wise investment. They've got a variety of features and they work on different wavelengths, so you can have multiple lavaliers happening kind of in the same area. You flip the cover out, there's the batteries, and then you've got kind of your menu settings, your on and off switch, and some of this stuff here. I'd reckon you really need to go through the manual for that kind of thing because these are high-end devices. Of course, we've got our headphones here to monitor audio live. And then I've got the trusty iPad here. A lot of you guys know I'm a recovering Mac addict, but when it comes to tablets, Apple makes the best products. And that is so I can check my notes as we're doing the shoot and make sure that we're hitting the content that we want to hit. So that kind of wraps up what I wanted to show you today about having a, a really professional two-camera shoot. But there's a lot of debate as to whether a Canon is better or maybe a Nikon. Nikon is better. See, I didn't even know the brand because I don't use them. What do you use and why do you like it? I'd really be interested in your, in your feedback because as it, as it, my training is really in media and, and what you should be putting on the frame and how to set up your shots. I didn't really get a lot of 
behind the scenes kind of camera training. So if you're a camera expert or if you know your cameras really well, what are you using? Are you using a Canon? Are you using a Nikon? Or are you using something like a Panasonic uh, Handycam? Um, uh, really, uh, let me know. Let's uh, get a conversation going in the comments. I'd love to hear back from you. If you liked what you saw here today and this is your first time vi visiting the Video Spot vlog, give us a subscribe. Check in with us every week because we do post new content on not just video, but how to use video to generate more leads for your business. And we're really looking to create a community of business owners that want to expand their reach online using video and using multimedia. So you can check out some of my other videos down below. Thank you for joining us on the Video Spot vlog. We'll see you next time.